Well, as I promised, I'd go through the mystery bins. So I had two big bins that came with this Jeep. And I gotta start ordering parts, so I wanna look through it before I bought anything. And here's what I got. Um, nothing earth shattering, but also some usable stuff. Um, there's still some, there's a lot of like nuts and bolts and brackets and stuff, but I, I just unpacked all the, the good stuff. That's some junk in there. There were some non Jeep items. Um, a couple things I'm kind of excited about is uh, this old speedometer. Uh, USA made. It's got a different needle than uh, some of the other ones I've seen. So I'll add that to the collection. Uh, there's some old fuel pump parts in there. A ton of U-joints, brand new, different brands. Um, I really like seeing the old packaging, um, like this old planters peanut can and a lot of uh, Sears and Roebuck items. So uh, fuel pump, speedometer, some stuff that's not made for this Jeep. I don't know what this shackle's for. Maybe a late model CJ5 or an aftermarket kit. Uh, a bunch of tail lights for various different things. Um, a nice Sears and Roebuck uh, throw out bearing. So I'll probably keep that. I'm sure that's better than the Chinese ones that you get now. Uh, some pretty wonky horns <laughs> the original six volt generator and regulator so that's kind of cool uh, and this box is a voltage converter the paperwork's still in there uh, to step it up and down from 6 12 and 24. And a whole bunch of these tow hook clips some hood latches plug wires trim rings alternator carb kit but not for the carb that's on it Battery tray thingy. Uh, shift fork. That's got a bunch of drum brake parts. <clears throat> uh, the original vacuum wipers. And some of the valves and T's and stuff for that. Some parts for the top. Uh, that's a bell crank kit. It's a coil and or a cap and rotor in there. And uh, some brake parts. This is a good one. Really good shape. Um, clutch pedal assembly for CJ2 or 3. The hole's a little wore out, but other than that, it's in pretty nice shape. What else? Uh, some more cool old boxes. Uh, a bunch of points and condensers. Thermostat. There's another... This is just U-joint clips, but it's kind of a cool box. But I think I got a total of seven U-joints. These are kingpin shims, so those are definitely handy. I don't have many of them. And this is a bell crank, or not bell crank, a kingpin bearing. And I thought it was pretty cool. This is from Peter DeBella Jeep Parts from who knows how long ago. But it's a brand new kingpin bearing. I wish there was a full set, but I don't see that. Um, then there's three or four head gaskets and like two complete gasket sets from Sears, from who knows when, and two or three T90 Spicer 18 gasket sets in there. And then just a bunch of, there's like a bunch of layers, just tons of gaskets. So um, that save a little money when it comes time to rebuild stuff. Um, but yeah, then all that's left in here is just nuts and bolts and some of that stuff's not even for Jeep, but uh, always good to have some extras around so that's pretty much it that's the mystery box um let me know what you think we'll uh update have some more things we got to do to this thing and hopefully be um, giving you a progress report soon thanks for watching catch you later